So I'm researching the reviews on the OG 2002 Spider-Man and I come across this bullshit. Wait, what? Apparently there are some insane people out there who truly believe Spider-Man is not an absolute genre defining barrier breaking classic masterpiece. We're living in a society. Stan Lee had been trying to get a Spider-Man film made since the 80s. It's been through many directors, rewrites, and studios before finally landing at Sony and Amy Pascal's choice for director was the amazing and uniquely talented Sam Raimi. Toby was cast as Spidey and William Defoe as the Goblin and thus a miracle happened. It was amazing. It shattered the box office becoming the highest grossing superhero movie ever. Why was Spider-Man so good? I'm sure many will call Spider-Man the classic hero's journey, a perfect blend of Star Wars and Superman the movie. They wouldn't be wrong, but Spider-Man is really a romance. Rarely has superhero films given this much attention to their hero's love interest. I'd argue that you could call this film Spider-Man and Mary Jane. This film perfects that narrative by focusing on the relationship between Peter and Mary Jane. It also helps that their dialogue is in cringe. You're taller than you look. I hunch. Don't. Their relationship can act as an emotional anchor for the entire trilogy. Just look how they end each film. Mary Jane is not really a damsel in distress. She's trying to figure out life, just like Peter. She's got family issues, just like Peter. She's struggling to make ends meet, just like Peter. It's not like Peter has his shit together and here he comes to save her from all her woes. This, I believe, is what makes their relationship compelling and what makes the narrative of this film easy to follow. I mean, how iconic is this kiss? 67% my ass. Spider-Man subverts the audience expectations about the guy getting the girl. The movie ends with a funeral and Peter friend zoning Mary Jane. Now I'm sure nerds everywhere were rejoicing during that moment, but this was tragic. Throughout this film, Peter is being taught a great lesson and it culminates perfectly in this scene. He knew he couldn't be with the girl of his dreams because with great power comes great responsibility. Speaking of Spider-Man, click that video you see on the screen right now and go check out my review for Spider-Man No Way Home. Drop a like and subscribe and the next film you watch, I hope it encourages, inspires and entertain. Thanks for watching.